All right, listen, I haven't checked out. I, I've been pretty clocked out for the last, like, honestly, three weeks. I've been pretty clocked out of everything that's been going on. I've just been so out of it. This passed me by, and I know this happened, but can somebody tell me what's up with this lady? What is up with this lady? In North Korea, parents cannot feed their children. We, we give them a mud because children are so hungry. And when you eat mud, you die in 10 days. You cannot go to the bathroom. Even though you know your children are dying, you still giving them the mud because what's the matter that you're going to die anyway? <laughs> this is, she, is, is this chick serious? Is she serious? Is she, it, it's what's listen. I hate when people do this because a lot of like uh, weirdo tankies love to say that everybody who says anything bad about any country that they like is a is a federal agent. But she's a North Korea defector turned right wing grifter. I'm pretty sure that's what I've been picking up on because this is a this is a conservative event, right? I know she was headlining at a TP USA event, and I'm pretty sure that she was also headlining at like some some other conservative event either. Uh, sorry, some other conservative event too. In North Korea, we give them mud. And when you eat mud, you die. That's her deal. Mark Levin had her on. This is crazy. I know Joe Rogan had her on a couple years ago. It's just. If she starts a sentence with in North Korea, you know, you know, what's going to be good. <laughs> I kind of want. I'm sorry. I kind of want to hear this one again. In North Korea, parents cannot feed their children. We, we give them a mud because children are so hungry. And when you eat mud, you die. I'm just, I'm, it's just the way I, it's the it's her. The way she talks is just I don't know. It's I want to say it's funny, but it's just it's curious. You die. It's it's not, it's not off putting. It's just. It's funny. I'm sorry. Like, I, I didn't want to say it, but yeah, the way she talks is just kind of funny. How she exclaims things is just kind of funny. It's just like when in, in Chicago, you walk down the street and then you get robbed by a black person. And then you say, a bl this, this person robbed me. And then people say who? And then you point at them. And then, then, they say you're, then they say you're racist because black people don't rob people. And then you, and then you die. In Austin... They don't have real barbecue. Everything is made for Instagram pictures. The Mexican food is made by white is made by a white line cook named Sean. The tacos are seventeen dollars. They bring their dogs to eat at the table. You must eat with the dogs. <laughs> Giraffe. Listen, I went to Austin. This is true. Every plate is made for Instagram pictures. Nobody actually eats the food. You got you got you got you got a goddamn Sean. With a freaking um, with, with with a fucking berserk logo tattoo on his forearm, who who makes seventeen dollar tacos out of his uh food truck that was a hand me down from his uncle. His food truck was the food truck was also shown on drivers, dine ins, and dives in uh, uh September seventeenth, twenty fourteen, and that's why it's a local hotspot. And college kids from from the University of Austin bring their dogs to eat at the table. You have to eat with the dogs. And I'm not talking about the dogs are on the floor. No, the dogs are in a seat. You have to eat with the dogs or else you die. <laughs> oh, wait, does anybody else have any other, more of these memes? Because they were so I saw some of them and they were so good. You die. Oh, I saw this one. It's so good. You're right. Thank you. This one's so in Turkey. You pay for ice cream. Then the ice cream man pretends to give you the ice cream and then he takes it back and then you starve <laughs> and then you die. It's very sad. It's very sad. What goes on in uh, it's very sad. What goes on in uh, in North Korea? Honestly, you pay for the ice cream and he pretends to give it to you and then he on a stick until you die now i believe that some of the things that she's saying are are real but wait what wait what did she say 
mom was source for a just like mentally retarded family, the farmer's family. And we go became a free labor for them and being a sex slave for them. And and then being a sex slave for a mentally retarded family? Yeah. My mom um, how, 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 she's an actual she's an actual North Korea defector. So I wanna I wanna show her some some like respect, right? Because I know it's it must be pretty bad there, but like she's pretty bad. But like I'm not, I don't know. I, I I don't know if this one's real. What? Huh? Who? Huh? What? When? Grifter to grift though. Man, it'd be so gross if she's making up some of these stories. And some of them are are getting pretty outlandish. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you're from. You're already a North Korea defector. You don't need to lie. Mom was source for a just like mentally retarded family, the farmer's family, and we go. It's just. A sex slave for a mentally retarded family. Yeah. <laughs> what? If true, what in the world does like? Are they all? Do they all have? Like, are 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 are, are they all slow? There's something like. What do you, why do you say re mentally retarded family? Like it's. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fucking what? Yeah. Yeah. Just, no, no, yeah. You don't yeah this. This isn't a yeah situation. What are you talking about, lady? Dying in these hospitals and rats would eat the eyeballs of the people who are dying and children who are starving would eat the rats. Mm -hmm. And then the children would die and the rats would eat the children. Yeah. Dying it's the, it's the circle of life. Dying in these hospitals and rats would eat the eyeballs of the people who are dying and children who are starving would eat the rats mm -hmm. and then the children would die and the rats would eat the children yeah 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 she left north korea like 2007 okay <gasps> wait are you wait are you trying to say that she's like ran out of north korea stories and so now she has to holy shit she's like one of those story youtubers that like ran that like makes their makes their content by telling stories in their life but you can only tell so many stories until it comes to a point where you got to you got to start to change things up and mix things up oh my gosh she holy crap she's going the leafy route i remember cuz i i would use, i actually used to i haven't i haven't really talked about it that much but i used to actually watch i used to be a leafy subscriber back when i was in high school and he made videos about talking about stories but then he went from talking about stories to most stupid autistic child I've ever seen. And then I'm like, I don't know what the hell is bro doing? What are you doing? She's leafy. She's real life leafy. That's crazy. How old is she? I don't know. Why? You want to, why you're, are you single or something? You, <laughs> what's her favorite restaurant? You want to know that too? Poop quota? She does still have a bigger chin than leafy. That is true that regime cannot have a fertilizer. They don't even have the technology to have a fertilizer. So they demand us to bring the poop. And as a kid, you go to school, the teachers beat you and then go home and look for poop. So I would go on the streets and looking if anywhere, like a dog pooped or somewhere. Of course, like all those dogs are poops gone. So finding a poop anyway, and you don't even eat, eat much. You don't poop like in North Korea, like few times a month. It's a really? very precious thing. Yeah, of course. It's a pr poop? You don't poop much? It's a precious thing? What? My poop is precious. Listen. My, my precious poop. You guys... <sighs> my precious poop. My precious poop. Well, this explains why people have been using her as a meme. This is crazy. I, I, we eat... We eat the poo poo? You can't poop a few times a month. I think you die. In North Korea, you're only allowed to poop three times a month. If you try to poop four times a month, you die. I don't think you can poop once a week. I mean, like, I mean, I don't know, because I've, I've, I've done fasting before. I've, I will tell you, if you've never fasted before, you'll never understand what it feels like to be poopless. 
You should give it a try. I think you should. I think everybody should fast if you, you know, if, if you can per your doctor's orders. Because like being poopless for like some amount of time is is quite an incredible feeling. I love fasting. I mean, it's OK. I just like I just kind of like the feeling of being poopless every now and again. It's kind of funny, you know, like I'm completely out of like after the first like three, four days, you're poopless. There ain't no poop coming out anymore. There you you ain't got no poop. Your your guts are completely clean. How do you not be hungry? You're hungry for like the first three days, but then after the first three days, you just like stop being hungry. You know, have you ever like babysat or anything? You ever you ever babysat like a baby? And the baby like like gets really mad when you won't let it eat drink like the chemicals from under the sink. And then you and then and so like you get the baby's mind off of it by giving it a toy and it goes, ooh, toy. And it forgets about the chemicals. It's kind of like that. No? Okay, well, anyways. It just kind of forgets. It just kind of well, it doesn't forget. It just kind of like um it gives up. Your body at some point your body because like the hunger is like, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. And then when you keep saying no, it comes to a point where your body's like, you know what? Okay, I realize we're not going to eat. And you know what? Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm going to eat myself <laughs> instead. And then it just like eats itself instead. Okay, I'll just eat myself. Kill. Well, I mean, like it's not, it's not, uh, that sounds bad. Well, I mean, that's how you lose weight. Your body is literally eating itself. How do you think you, how do you think you lose weight then? What the, the the fat just magically disappears or some shit like that? Your body eats it. It goes, and then it goes, and then it goes, self vor. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You can die. Well, I mean, I've never, I've never fasted for more than a month. So when I was done fasting, I just like ate food again, and my body was like, ooh, food. So I don't know, maybe for other people serving hunt. Oh my goodness. So I don't know, maybe other people like have trouble, but I'm just kind of built differently and I don't have problems. So it just kind of be like that sometimes. You ever think about that? You ever think about how it just be like that? You ever think about how you're kind of built different than other people who have problems? That's a long time. It actually, it stops the first, like I said, the first three days are kind of hard. Cause your body's like, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Feed me. I'm hungry. Please, please. But then you just go shut up. Dumbass. No. And then it goes, okay, I'm going to eat myself. And then it eats itself. My mom was on a diet for, yeah, I don't do diets really. Yeah. The hunger goes away after the fourth day on the fourth day, the hunger disappeared. And then I'm, and now I'm pogging. Now I'm literally living the dream. I'm not fasting at the moment, but I do like fasting. Though. I'm I'm not fasting right now. And also, there's nothing wrong with fasting if you're you should talk to your doctor before you start fasting, but there's nothing wrong with fasting. Fasting is fine. Conspiracy bingo. What the hell? Uh, she would not even taste anything because it had because it had calories. I think it was Yeah, that sounds like more like an eating disorder. Listen, you gotta be you gotta be kind to yourself. When I was when I was on my like fasting or whatever, sometimes I would mess up and I'd be like, "What the heck?" And you know what I did? I would then just go back to fasting. It's not that hard. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. If you're enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, it'll make Boo very sad. I know a bunch of you who are watching are not subscribed. Join the frenzy. You won't regret it. <laughs> Thank you, Boo.